um, part of negotiation is listening. <laughs> and there's a saying, um, it's a quote, I think, and I think I'm just going to read it so I get it right. Most people do not listen with the intent to understand. They listen with the intent to reply. <laughs> That's it. So, I mean, the third side, sure, we can all sit down and talk. But if we talk over each other, that's not going to happen, is it? So what would be your techniques for people, for, for our audience, but in general, to be a better listener? Yeah, you know, it's interesting because people, as a negotiation, people say it's always, you know, it's all people think negotiation is about talking. True negotiations about listening, right? We talk about, you know, there are peace talks. There actually should be peace listenings there on the border in Belarus. They need to listen to each other, right? Listening is hard uh, because the way we normally listen is exactly we listen to reply, we listen to refute, we listen to say, I don't agree with you. Mm -hmm. We listen from our perspective, and we have that part of our mind that's listening to the other side saying, I don't agree with this, I don't agree with that, I don't agree with this, and you reply, right? Now, the kind of listening that's needed is listening where you put yourself in the other side's shoes, from their perspective. Like, it's the only kind of listening that's going to help is, and that listening can help you because what is negotiation? You're trying to influence the other side. You're trying to change their mind, right? How can you possibly change someone's mind unless you know where that mind is? And the only way you're going to know where that mind is is by listening. So listening is maybe the most important thing in negotiation. And the other thing that listening does is, this is why I think listening is the cheapest concession you could make, you know, because it costs you very little to listen. And it means everything to the other side because it's a sign of respect. It's a sign of saying, I respect, I value you. I may disagree with you. I may disagree violently with you even, but I respect you. I see you as a human being. I respect you. And so to me, listening is the key. And the key to listening is just a little shift in the spotlight. Instead of putting the spotlight right here on our perspective, move the spotlight about two feet over to the other person and try to understand what it's like to be in their shoes. What is it like? I mean, it's really hard like for someone like Putin right now because there's so much anger against him and he's crazy and he's demented and everyone's like, no, but put yourself in his shoes. Imagine this boy growing up in Leningrad right after a million people die, his brother dead, his mother, you know, uh, you know, just, just the worst kind of poverty, freezing, all that. You know, it, go through his thing, he becomes a judo guy, he becomes, you know, it's all about power and force. He goes, you know, his, 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 uh, his hero is KGB, you know, defends, you know, like Richard Sorge. And, you know, he's, he's trying to, he goes in East Germany. He, then he watches, the country that he was trying to, you know, his country he's so proud of dissolve. He sees people begging on the streets. He sees, you know, the, the great power humiliated. So, you know, then you can start to see, okay, now how are we going to influence him? Because we need to influence him right now. He has all this power. We need to influence him and persuade him to stop what he's doing, to come to a senses. But it only begins by listening to him. 